Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I review the Chanel 22 handbag in medium size after using it for one month. If you like review on luxury items and also classic pieces, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's first unbox the bag. I got the bag in the boutique and this is the biggest box I've ever had for all my Chanel handbags. Let's unwrap it. Let me open the papers for the chain and the pendant. There you go. This is the bag. Here's the pendant in vintage gold tone. And these are the chains. Here's the cap skin in shiny tone. And this is a Chanel logo. The quoting is also very big. Here's a corner and a bottom. Here's the back. There's a pouch inside. I'm gonna show you the details later. All right, so let's look at the details of the bag. The bag is made of very shiny calfskin leather. Here's a snap button on both sides. And inside my SA told me that this is made of denim. And he's a made in Italy tag. Inside there's a detachable pouch. Which is quite big. The lining of the pouch is also made of denim. It's very easy to sip. And that's another zip pocket inside the bag. In the inner top side of the bag, that's a magnet button. There is Chanel logo marked there. And it's very easy to close. Here's the pendant. I just love this coin design. It is so beautiful. And I'm gonna show you how to adjust the chains of the bag. All you need to do is to pull it a bit. It's a bit like drawstring. And you can even hang one chain down to make it more carefree. And when you close it, it's super simple. It's just such a carefree bag and it's super easy to use. And when you don't use it, my essay say it's better to store it in the dust bag. And what I love is that you can just lie the bag flat. Right? Alright, let's see what fits. I have my daily gym essentials here. So I'm gonna show you one by one how they fit in. First, I have my gym shoes. They fit perfectly. Then I have my yoga clothes. Very easy to squeeze in. And then I have my water bottle. Then I have my Chanel mini O case. Large size card holder. Next I have my mobile phone, which is iPhone 11. And then I have my Chanel hand cream. You can see that I can basically fit every single thing inside and I can even close it with the snap button. There you go. The back looks very edgy and slouchy and it is just so useful for you to be able to throw everything inside. So let's look at a pouch. If you want some more security, you can put your essentials into the pouch as well. Here I have my iPhone, my hand cream, and my Chanel large pouch here as well. You might have to maneuver a little bit before you can close it if you're using a large card holder like me. If you're using a smaller size of the classic Chanel card holder, that's no problem for you to zip up immediately. When I travel, I also put my passport in and I can zip easily. There you go. I just love it. It is so useful and it's so versatile. 
here you have this slouchy shape. So next I'm going to show you how it fits my 13 inch Apple MacBook laptop. You can see from the size it fits perfectly but I'm just going to show you how it looks like after you put the laptop inside. So it doesn't take any effort to put in the laptop actually when the bag is empty and you can close it. It feels very secure actually and you still have that slouchiness. Right? This is perfect. It just basically fits everything you need to fit in. So here's the mod shots. I'm wearing tank top and high waist jeans and I'm only 5'1 for information. So even though this is a medium size, I would say it would still fit particular frame very easily. You can also handheld the bag. It looks super edgy as well. I love the fact that the chain is the Chanel classic leather chain, so even though it's edgy, the bag still look pretty feminine. Love it, love it, love it. So here's I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons. The first pro is that there's a lot of space in the bag. I can literally put my mini square handbag inside and there's still a lot of space. By the way, my mini square is from 22P collection. I can even put my box for the card holder inside. In case you just purchase something from the Chanel boutique, you can literally put your purchase inside. Second pro is that it's part of a classic line and that means that it can still hold a value for the long term. You can see from the Chanel website, it is introducing the bag with different web pages and with different colors and they will have more colors in the coming season. Pro number three is that it is such a simple and grab and go bag. It is so easy to carry, to put on your shoulders and I put all my essentials in and I even brought with me when I was traveling. And it just goes with so many different styles of your silhouettes. Pro number four is that there's an additional pouch. Don't underestimate the pouch. It can fit quite a lot. And also because it's detachable, it is very easy for you when you travel or when you just go to the gym or do the grocery. For example, I use it quite a lot when I travel. Pro number five, it can be easily stored. As I mentioned earlier, you can just lie the back flat and you can put your laptop in. I even brought it with me when I travel and also to me on the plane. It is just so easy to store. Pro number six is that it is just so different and edgy. I'm a classic bag kind of person, so I own quite a lot of Chanel classic flat bag. But every now and then, I do love to change my style a bit, and I really love that feminine and edginess of the bag. For the con, number one, the design might be too simple for the cost. To be honest, it is still a fairly simple bag when it comes to the structure. Of course, that's a lot of leather there, but if you look at the structure, it's pretty simple. It's kind of a flat bag with, you know, big pieces of leather and chains and coin. Number two is that the chain could hurt your shoulders. So if you're wearing tank top, like during the summertime, you might feel pain after wearing it for a while, which is true for me when I brought it with me when I travel. It is quite hurtful. So. The good advice is that just wear it with your trench coat so that you have something to cover your shoulders, then you will feel less pain. This is definitely no problem if you're wearing something outside. If you're just wearing tank top, it might hurt your shoulders. Call number three, it could be just a trendy bag. I know that Chanel has been releasing new items every season and a lot of influencers are using it, a lot of celebrities are using it, but who knows? It could just be the boy bag that it would go out of style after several years. But personally, I love, love, love the bag. For the last con, there's a whisk of wear and tear. So let's look at the logo hardware outside of the bag. 
I don't know whether the logo is gonna fall off after using it for a while to be honest because I definitely see the risk and also at the top edge corner of the bag I'm not sure that after you keep adjusting the chains for a very long time whether the edge will be worn off or you know because there's a lot of friction that the chain can have with the edge of the bag so that's definitely a risk of wear and tear so let's summarize the pros and cons for the pro there's a lot of space and number three is that because it's part of the classic line it could hold a value for a very long term number three it is a simple and grab and go bag four there's an additional pouch for your travel and for your day-to-day -day need five it can be easily stored because you can light it flat six it is different and it is edgy but also feminine at the same time it is extremely versatile and different for the cons the design might be too simple for the cost because of the simple structure of the bag number two the chains could hurt your shoulders after wearing it for a while with bare skin three it could be just a trendy bag because of the social media influence and because it is a new bag from chanel Last but not least, there's a risk of wear and tear, especially the logo hardware and the top edge of the bag. Here's my final thoughts on the bag. For me, it is such a different bag from the normal Chanel handbags in my imagination because I own a lot of classic flat bags in the mini sizes. And I have to say that it is so good to be able to throw things in without having the need to adjust all your essentials to fit into a mini bag. So I really love that part of it. And also a lot of people say this bag has no details. For me, it is not true at all. I just love it so, so, so much, especially this pendant and the vintage gold tone color chains and the shiny calf skin and the Chanel logo and the big coating. For me, these are all the details that I'm looking for in a handbag. I love the magnet closure as well. I love that additional pouch. I really think that it gives that sort of additional value to the purchase. And I love the fact that it is detachable. I can even use the clutch as a standalone handbag if I need to. Sometimes I can even just put my passport in or put my office essential in when I just go down for coffee from my workplace. So this is perfect. And inside, it is so roomy. I just feel extremely good to be able to throw every single thing in without having to worry whether it would fit or not, especially when I have to run errands. And also, it gives that sort of edginess, but also femininity because it is Chanel. And only Chanel can do that to make a bag so edgy, but also feminine at the same time. And it makes you feel so good. When I was using the bag, when I traveled, I felt extremely good. And I have to say that I haven't felt so excited for a handbag for a very long time because I own so many classic flat bags and this is so special. This is different and this is new. For me, between the small and medium size, I definitely prefer the medium size, even for my short frame. I'm only 5'1", so the small size is on the left, the medium size is on the right. For me, it looks pretty much the same, except that the medium size, it's a bit taller. Uh, it's a tiny bit wider, but the length of the chains looks the same to me. So I prefer the proportion between the chain and the back itself, the back body itself, because I feel like for the medium size, the chain look a bit shorter, whereas for the small size on the left, the chain look a bit longer. So I prefer the proportion of the right hand side. I mean, the chain to the back body ratio, it's better for the medium size. So I highly recommend you to get a bag if you haven't. This would be a timeless classic. I just love the bag so much and I hope you feel the same. Thank you so much for watching. I do videos on the review of luxury items and also classic and colorful items. If you like my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. 
See you next time. Bye.